Some of the main challenges we have is making people understand that flexible plastic packaging is sometimes still the best material to use. It has the best barrier properties at times and uh, if we, as long as we uh, design it properly for recycling and try to make it more circular, it stands to reason that it's the best material uh, there to use. I mean, there are a degree of trade-offs that we need to look at. I mean, uh, achieving our customer sustainability goals are critical and how we go about doing that regarding using material from a renewable resource, recycled content, is key to try and make sure that it's, uh, it's important. But at the same time, those barrier properties are something that we need to innovate. We need to uh, look at new materials that we're developing, new coatings, and establish whether or not we can supply a material which still has those barrier properties, but at the same time protects the food in particular that we're looking to, to preserve and, and give shelf life. Uh, that, that comes at a cost. It comes at a cost because innovation is never, never uh, a cheap thing to do. But it's something that we're playing a part on to try and make sure that we try and find these new innovations and give these as solutions to our customers. The design for recycling uh, aspects that we're using, the uh, certification of material to be recyclable, the uh, EPR mechanisms that are in place, they're all coming to a bit of a crescendo now. We've done a lot of work on each one of the three of them. And we need to look at uh, harmonisation, we need to look at a consistency between those three in order to make it easier for the consumer to understand just exactly what's required. That element of education should allow us to supply our consumer with the best possible solutions that achieves their sustainability goals. We see organisations, great organisations like CFLEX, driving certain conversations. But uh, I must admit there will be many different people that, are, that come to CFLEX that also come to similar types of meetings. There are overlaps here and we need to make sure that we maximise the opportunity for mutual learning, not duplication of effort and trying to use that element of harmonisation to get a clearer understanding. I think sometimes we make life difficult for ourselves. There are many different organisations talking about the same thing, but not necessarily pulling together, and in some instances need to compromise in order to get a clearer messaging. If we can do that, if we can achieve that, I think that's what we're really here to do. So the background work that we've done is great. We're talking about making an action tank rather than a think tank. Well, now's the time.